Retinoblastoma is a malignant cancer that arises within the retina, the light sensing layer of the inside of the eye in very young children. In fact, we think that these tumors probably start even before birth, but it takes them a while to get large enough for us to see them or for it to cause the white pupil that would alert us that there's a tumor in the eye. Now, retinoblastoma is often a genetic or hereditary disease. About 40% of the time, the child will have a mutation that causes retinoblastoma in the eye, but that mutation is also in the other cells in the body. So that child is at risk for other cancers as well because of the same mutation in what we call a retinoblastoma gene. So if the child has the hereditary form, usually they have tumors in both eyes. So it's a real challenge to try to save vision in at least one of the two eyes many times. They're at risk for a type of brain tumor called pinealoblastoma or trilateral retinoblastoma. And then they're at risk for a number of other cancers. So uh, it's very important that the, the doctor taking care of these children understand the complexity of this disease. It's not just the eyes that we're talking about. And we're very fortunate here at Baskin Palmer that I work with pediatric oncologists, geneticists, and a whole team of uh, professionals that provides the whole range of care for these uh, children. So the great news with retinoblastoma is a hundred years ago it was uniformly fatal, but today well over 95% of patients survive in developed countries like the United States. And that has been due to, number one, greater awareness among pediatricians and the public to look for the white pupil that could represent retinoblastoma. Number two, better diagnostic techniques for ophthalmologists taking care of these children. And third, and probably most importantly, are better treatments. Over time, we've gotten much, much better at treating uh, retinoblastoma. Up until the 60s or 70s, most of these children just simply had their eye removed and often had both eyes removed. These days, I'm able to save most eyes using the latest cutting edge therapies that we have available. One is intra-arterial chemotherapy that's delivered through the ophthalmic artery into the eye. And the other even more recent technique is injecting the chemotherapy directly into the eye. We can get a very high dose of chemotherapy right where the tumor is located uh, very safely using the latest techniques. At the Baskin Palmer Ocular Oncology Laboratory, we are trying to anticipate the next frontier in improving the care of patients with retinoblastoma. And we're doing this by understanding the genetic abnormalities that occur within the cancer that we could develop innovative new targeted therapies um, that would improve outcomes and reduce the toxicity uh, that we um, currently see with the chemotherapeutic agents that we're using.